what characteristics do you think you have or you've built up over you know your experience in life that allows you to have such like high level execution think of something and just do it rather there's no fear to deal with there's no maybe i'll fail there's, you said uh, most people don't make it because the first big failure they come up against they give up you know why don't you give up why don't you see something difficult and think oh, i can't bother with this i'm just going to carry on living my mundane life like most guys that you describe do that well in this point this will quite easy because you have so much like history of looking like su- success so now even if we if i like have something negative happen at work or there's some obstacles you can like look at actually your past performance and be like okay this is just just one of one of those like this is gonna be like you're gonna laugh for it laugh for this like after like a few months but um i think like people overthink a lot so i think the most stupid thing i see there's people who are considering like oh, okay like maybe i should try this maybe i should do something and they think like they need to do everything perfectly like i'm as far from a perfect like i i do everything just quick and a little bit shitty but i get the <laughs> result and then i improve so it's like i i trust more in taking immediate action than trying to do something perfectly okay so speed speed yeah acting with speed and getting it done and that's how you then then refining yeah yeah and you think again the whole idea in my mind is because the whole frame of my whole mentality is martial arts because that's kind of how i think about martial arts but you think that mentality came from doing jiu-jitsu or you think it has anything to do with like obviously jiu-jitsu is quite an intelligent sport um and you learn the skills but you have to refine 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 a guard pass you have to do it a thousand mm. times to be able to do it like uh, the best you can do it so do you think there's any anything between the two things with the, with your mentality towards business and your mentality to martial arts do you think it, doing martial arts as a young man do you think it helped you build this sort of resilience towards hardship or yeah. how do you feel yeah i think like i know also like you when when you do do like a sport you get like plateaued and you feel like okay i'm not progressing but you still keep going to the practice and then basically you end up like looking at looking like okay i was i'm way better than i was like two months ago and way better than i was like six months ago but at the moment it probably doesn't feel like that so when you just go and trust the process and you keep on grinding and doing that's where the results usually usually come and i think like i'm now 33 now i can be like even if something like really bad happened in the business you're like okay like this is gonna like this is just like feeling bad for the moment we're just gonna keep on grinding <laughs> and what i noticed like because we had like if you look at the entrepreneur journey like there was this moment when like email was like easy you could do like 100k okay like a day with email email marketing then suddenly google at google and uh google shuts up every sh- shuts down like all the spam things like you cannot any, anymore deliver everything becomes more difficult it goes almost to zero you think everything is over okay then happens the same like in sms there was first like no regulations in the united states you could just take like one million of data and just start blasting then they started having like regulations you need to have like a comp- like campaign vetting you need to have like official website you need to have like certain levels of like uh sp- you, you're only allowed to have certain amount of complaints and your routes will be shut off and there's there's been maybe like five six moments where we thought that okay now everything is over and nothing was ever over like it's always just like a small small time of building things up up re- recalibrating and then finding finding how to improve so every every time like we thought that thought that things would be like they're, they're never going to be as good that they were in the past and so we've been always wrong and now when i really trust that thing it it gives you like certain kind of confidence yeah because you've yeah like you said you it's memory like you can go back and be like well this happened to us but then this opened up so obviously as long as you're open to the i call it like riding waves yeah so like sms um, email marketing was a wave you rode it to the, the idea and the mm. best way to do it is to ride it to the top and then jump onto the next wave at the top and you keep wave and wave and wave and wave but if you hang on to the thing for too long and it starts going sour and then you you then it that's when maybe you have a little bit of sadness or hard mm. time or that's kind of what I feel I did with the fighting when now when I talk about my fight career I had an amazing career I did some amazing things but I probably did it for a little bit too long that I shouldn't have bought, I didn't get anything out of it you know in this area I didn't jump onto the next thing early enough because it's mm. difficult to like make that change. But now I've made that change with one way, the next wave I'll know when it's time to jump off of it. So maybe now for you if SMS somehow becomes like email and it becomes goes from being a 
open rate. I'm not saying this is going to happen, but if it does, 97% rate, it goes down to a 10% rate. You then need to find the next wave, the next wave, the next wave, the next wave. And I think that's what being an entrepreneur is, right? Is understanding yeah. that you, you, you're never safe. Exactly. And you can always jump to the next wave. And if you think this is how I look at myself, and maybe I'm projecting a little bit, but I think if you truly believe in yourself as a man, then you, you know it's always going to be all right. So when you're in the darkest moments and the hardest times and everything's going wrong, you know, like, okay, forget this, so let's do something else, and I'll be good at that next thing mm -hmm. that I do anyway. And you call it recalibrating. Like yeah. take a step back, look where you're at, and again, that becomes easier and easier if you are got money in the bank, right? And you don't have the yeah. pressures of, of paying the bills. I guess yeah. the pressures of paying the bills for you are, are no longer there. No, no, no. So, um, yeah, I think the advice for younger guys, this is what I wanted to get to. I think the top, the, uh, what's the word? The uh, symmetry, maybe that's not the right word, but between being able to deal with like hardship and being able to thrive, like you have to go through that. I think the best way to do that is sports. I'm yeah. talking as a young man, like if you're 13, 14, okay, maybe you can start some email marketing company. Yeah. I don't know. Now with the internet, you can do loads of things and start business and make money. Mm. But I feel like everyone's focused on making money and I mm. want to make money, I want to make money, I want to make money, but they don't build up that, that solid foundation as a man, you know, like the understanding of how the world works and understanding yourself. You're obviously very, you've gone through a bit of a, an amazing few waves that have brought you up, but you with you're very grounded as a man because of the jujitsu. I think jujitsu makes you humble. You use the word yeah. humble. Humbles you constantly because you're constantly getting beat up. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you realize you're not invincible. Whereas if men don't go through that journey and they start making millions and millions of dollars, mm. they can maybe become above their station. Does that make yeah. sense? So Yeah, you see these people with who made like the money from crypto. So we, you see that they they're fucking soft. And you can actually like, uh, like uh, you can almost like see from how somebody how somebody walks if they're like self-made or if they inherit the money. So you can like see just like how people carry themselves. But one one thing that is like making usually uh, because we're so bad in like measuring like how much we're actually doing. So people are saying like, hey, I'm doing so much work and I did like, so many much time to this and training so much. So for me, like what I usually do, I measure things. So like, let's say that uh, I would need to, I would need to do sale sales and I would need to find like, to, like, let's say my goal is to get 10 big call centers to adapt our software. So would it be enough for me to contact like 15 companies to get 10? Probably not. It's more, we're going to be closer to contact 500. So that is the same in like, in any, any like skill. Like if, if you put 40 hours of learning some skill, you would be really good in Facebook marketing. If you put 40 hours of teaching like how to do basic economics, you'll actually be pretty decent. If you put 40 hours in jujitsu, you will learn the basics. And it's not that long time. But if you measure by hours and you measure like amount of contacts, that makes it way more easy for you to like understand what, it actually need, what you actually need to do to succeed in life. Yeah, I think uh, there's, I spoke about this before on the podcast, but there's like an 18 minute rule, that whole thing. Like if you spend 18 minutes a day practicing something and you do that for a year, it might even be a year, it might be a month, I don't know. But if you do that, you're better than 95% of the population at that one thing. 